so in this video we will see regarding the woocommerce import operations uh, for which we have configured the uh, webhook functionality and you will be able to see over here we have configured uh, webhook for product create as well as for product update customer create uh, customer update order create order update okay now i am showing you one detailed uh, uh, example of the configuration that how we have uh, done it uh, and it will be configured at woocommerce instance site not odoo site all right so for this import operations we have to first of all uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, configure the webhook for these uh, defined operations okay so now i will go uh, in this product update and will show you so here basically as you can see that here we have to write the webhook uh, data the name of the process that we are doing over here the status like whether the, the this process will be uh, active paused or disabled so this is the related webhook process status okay here the uh, topic we have to select it like product update product create you know this this kind of uh, thing so uh, for what particular uh, functionality you are uh, making this uh, webhook configuration so that particular thing you have to select over here from the selection uh, here in this delivery url you have to uh, give um, the um, udo link the udo domain at which the the web, uh, this uh, uh, your uh, your woocommerce instance is installed over there all right and here after this link uh, the after this link slash webhook slash uh, whatever the product uh, uh, just for one example like it it is for the product then have to write the product then it is for the update process for update and after that slash one okay and here the secret will be there the api version will be like uh, this wp rest api integration version 3 so this is the only this is only one example that i have given to you just same like this we have to uh, configure for all of this process that will be product update product create order update order create customer update and customer create okay one two three four five six for this six process we have configured this webhook uh, configuration at woocommerce instance side all right now we will take an example and we'll show you that uh, how how this this functionality will work and just remember that uh, this functionality will work with your real time live data that means uh, uh, real time data that means that at the same time you are uh, creating or updating the data and then it will be get affected at the udo side all right so for all your legacy data you have to manually import it uh, in odoo with uh, with our woocommerce visa that we have provided for important export operations right for your legacy and old historical data but for newly created data uh, that you are right now creating and right now updating so for that these webhook operations will be managed over here all right now let's take an example for these webhook operations first of all we will take an example for uh, for customer and yes one more thing i have to tell you that with this product right with this product uh, create an update so with this uh, product stock will be also get managed uh, in this import uh, functionality so we will uh, take an exa these examples one by one okay all right now uh, we will take first of all example of the customer okay let's see that so uh, from uh, woocommerce instance side i will go to customers uh, users sorry on the users and will cl click on add new so I will uh, all right like just for one example like Steve robot that we have created over here now we will go here at uh, uh, Udo side and we'll go to the WooCommerce and we will go at uh, customers so you will be you will be able to see that this uh, uh, customer is created successfully with the rest of the contact information and all like that 
so like this this customer will be uh, automatically made without any kind of manual intervention right okay so <coughs> you will be able to see the whole uh, thing all over here all right so this is the create operation so just same like that whenever you will also update this particular uh, uh, customer uh, directly from here any any of the information just just for example like when you will update an email or uh, when you will update first name or last name or website so then uh, without any manual intervention uh, uh, within a fraction uh, of you, you know uh, like uh, within max to max in one minute this particular operation will be automatically get uh, uh, updated uh, over here at udu side okay so just same like this you can also um, make update operation over here uh, with the webhook functionality okay now we will see an example for the product uh, uh, okay product and with variants and with stock so we will see that we will go to products add new products at woocommerce site this is woocommerce instance it is just a demo instance okay so we will go there So I will create a product that will be like just for example i413 alright regular price I am just uh, updating over here uh, taking as a all right variable product so providing the attributes over here uh, like uh, color black and white save attributes Okay, so you will be able to see these two uh, attributes are added here successfully. I am just writing down the SKU like this. I am also managing the stock of it like let's say 10 quantities are there. You will be able to see over here for the variants just writing it down uh, regular price will be 1 lakh next 70,000 and all the rest of information that is managed over here for the white
so it was white okay Okay, I have write down the stock. Save changes. All right, so this product is created here successfully. Now here, I will go at products at uh, WooCommerce menu. Okay, so the process is running over here right now. Now uh, you will be able to see over here iPhone 13 uh, this product has uh, uh, generated over here at uh, Udo side all this related information Woo variants are also there with the regular price sales price and all the rest of the information if um, the images will be there then all the related information will be uh, taken uh, here fetched and display here at uh, Udo side okay so just same like that when you will update any of this information from the products like uh, update the stock uh, update uh, the variance uh, regular price or sales price or any another information that accordingly uh, with this webhook this particular uh, uh, information will be also get updated uh, here at Udo side without any kind of uh, manual intervention all right now for the stock now for the stock you will be able to see this particular stock has also arrived okay so in udu when a particular um, this is this is an example of inventory without not tracking but when uh, you will have the lot kind of scenario or unique serial number kind of scenario will be also there that you can easily manage uh, the lot numbers and uh, unique serial numbers along with these products here automatically uh, okay and uh, uh, without any kind of hurdle you will be able to manage these lots and serial numbers of the products only you have to take care about uh, particular product uh, related count inventory count will be get reflected in in uh, abstract uh, that lot uh, okay so only you have to take care about it all right so this is related to the product and stock how it will be get imported and uh, just uh, i have uh, told you that whenever it, it will be also get updated then from woocommerce instance side then it will be also get updated at odoo side all right so this video is related uh, to the customers and product uh, information in the next video uh, we will see about the sales order operations uh, related to the web hook okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day bye take care